Sadly, I didn't get everything I needed for my Genesis Mini conversion this holiday break, but uh, I got the Raspberry Pi, but I need some more stuff. However, I did get a Teensy LC, which is an Arduino microcontroller. I was able to put it inside of an original Sega Genesis uh, three button controller, which was important to me because this is what I remember as a kid when I go to a friend's house. I didn't actually have a Sega Genesis, I had a Super Nintendo. But this was the controller, not the later six button version with the shoulder buttons on there. So, what I did was, there's no select button, which is kind of a problem with RetroPie. I put a select button right there on the back. So, we'll go to Genesis. We'll try out Aladdin, because that uses all three buttons. Oh, you missed it on the screen there, it said. So if you hit select, you can select save slot 2, and then I've done, uh, I've changed the hotkeys, so if I hold select, I can, this is kind of tough to do, one-handed. So select and up will start me off where I was. Can't see it. So we've got apples, throw an apple, Sword, jump, directional. I love the D-pad on the Genesis controller. That's probably... I know it's not everybody's favorite, but I do like it. I always liked it. So, and then... Start and select. So, that's working pretty good. use the old USB cable and then I don't know what this thing is called but I had to get a razor blade in there to cut it off the old controller because that's kind of an essential part of the wire coming out so this is gonna look appropriate got the USB NES mini controller there which was obviously easier because I was able to get a generic eight or was it eight dollar one off of Amazon, just pop the board into the original Nintendo and use the original rubber here so it it works really nice. Feels good. So this was fun.